Welcome to Scene Psycho channel. For people who don't have determination and do not strengthen it in themselves, decision making is painful. These people spend a lot of time and energy making decisions that are not very important. When they need to make an important impact, they get into trouble. In this video, we want to tell you how to be decisive in all aspects of your life. This is Sin Psycho channel. In order to make a completely correct decision, we need two tools that humans haven't made yet. That is, we have everything and a time machine. Only when we have these tools, we can be aware of the result of our decision and make the most correct decision. When you overcome the wrong mentality that makes you afraid of the consequences of making decisions and makes you over-examining the options, you've taken an important step in the path of being decisive. The result of the wrong mentality is only a waste of passive energy and even analytical laziness. With these 12 points, we can increase your decisiveness in your relationship behavior and management. Number one, check how long the final result of the decision has an effect. The first step to becoming a decisive person is to check the effect of the final result of the decisions on your well-being. Check the result of your decisions in a week, a month, and a year later. If the impact of decision is high in different time markets, you have the right to spend a lot of time and energy on it. Otherwise, spending too much time is prohibited. People even have trouble choosing food in a restaurant when it is not really an important decision. Many people are paralyzed by the fear of the outcome when making a decision. But when they examine the outcome over a longer time horizon, they realize that even the worst outcomes don't have that much of an impact after a while. Number two, use the only available test. When you are hesitating between several options to be more decisive, imagine that there is only one way in front of you and you have to choose it. Then measure the result. For example, if you don't know whether to choose New York or London for your vacation, first think that the only option before you is New York. How would you feel if New York was the only destination you could choose for your vacation? Do the same test for London. How would you feel if London was the only city you could choose for a vacation? Now, you can choose which one you prefer. If the result of checking both options is the same, it means that their priority is the same and it doesn't matter which one you choose. So, without hesitation, get your ticket and go on your favorite vacation and enjoy. Number three. Compare the results of different decisions. Decisions are not always easy and even the most determined people cannot be completely decisive when making important decisions. One of the ways to choose the best option is to compare the result of different decisions. Imagine that you are offered a new job position and then choose whether you want to change your job or not. Write down the benefits of the current job and the new job and compare them with each other. Continue this until you are sure that one of the jobs is better than the other and accepting it has more benefits or less loses for you. Of course, this comparison is for changing jobs. It is hypothetical and everything is based on probabilities. As we said before, we don't have a time machine and we cannot be completely sure. Number four. Get more information. If you still can't compare different options with each other, that means you need more information. The type of information you get about the option is also very important. For example, when choosing a job, checking whether a certain person is successful in that position or not is not correct information. You are completely different from the person and you will get different results. The information you need to check is the necessary features to work in that job position. Increasing the information should help you check the options more easily. Number five, check the possibility of running multiple options at the same time. One of the ways to increase decisiveness is that you don't need to make a decision and you can implement several options at the same time. When choosing a major, you may be interested in more than one field and maybe they are not related to each other. For example, you like chemistry and painting at the same time. Can't you study chemistry at the university and participate in design courses at the same time? Or when choosing a travel destination, you can't do that. Plan to go to New York and visit London. Number six, determine your values. When the destination is clear, it becomes easy to choose the right path at crossroads. Always remember your values and missions in life when deciding to choose an option that is in line with your goals. For example, if you know in your workplace that the quality of the product is valuable, you will be decisive in management and you will oppose any proposal and production of low quality products, 
even if the cost is less. Number seven, decide in advance. Our mind has a certain capacity to make decisions during the day. When you're tired, the power of choice decreases drastically. We have to plan what to use this energy for, choosing clothes or deciding on the direction of business development. In order to decide in advance, it is better to spend an hour during the week and write down what you want to have for lunch and dinner every day or what clothes you want to wear during the day. Do this once a week and save yourself for a daily conflict. Number eight. Get out of your mental safe zone. One of the most challenging decisions is when you have to choose between the work you have done before and the new work. Some sentences may contain gender-specific alternatives. Click a sentence to see alternatives. Choose the unknown one. In this case, your brain tries to keep you in the comfort zone and known mental range. No wonder the brain's job is to keep you alive, not to care about your happiness and success. Imagine you made a date with a person whom you have never met before. When the meeting time approaches, you feel that it is better to stay at home and watch TV. Without choosing unknown and trying them, you won't get any new achievements and things will either stay at the same or get worse. The advantages of stepping into the unknown are far greater than staying away from them. Instead of fearing of the negative outcomes of a decision, think about what positive outcomes it might have. Number 9. Ask yourself if this is the last time I can make this decision. Answering this question is one of the best ways to increase assertiveness in work or behavior. Many decisions that we spend a lot of mental energy on are repeated again. Even if the worst result occurs, we can learn from it and choose better options next time. For example, if you can't decide which food to choose in a restaurant, think that you will have the power to choose again on other days. If you regret your decision, you can make up for it. Number 10. Trust in yourself. In order to learn how to be a decisive person, you must strengthen your self-confidence and trust in yourself. You must feel and hear your inner voice. This call tells you what the right decision is. Of course, sometimes the conditions for hearing the inner voices are not available and a person is so overwhelmed with different thoughts and stress that he completely forgets the voice of his heart and looks for an external person to tell him what to do. Instead of stress and tension, it is better to rest, sleep or take a walk. When you are at peace, the voice of the inner voice can be heard very clearly. Number 11. Set a deadline for your decisions. When you take too long to decide on an issue, you lose the power to make the right choice. Therefore, it is better to set a deadline for your decisions. This trick is also useful for important life decisions. For example, if you plan to resign from your current job and start your own business, you will probably hesitate for a long time. To be decisive in your work, you can determine that when your capital reaches a certain amount, you will use it to start your own business. Number 12. Regret less. One of the most important reasons for not being firm in your behavior is having regrets. I wish I had not made this decision. I wish I had chosen another job. I wish I hadn't turned into this relationship. This damn I wish. All these regrets will accompany us in new decisions and make us hesitate. Make a commitment that even if the result of your decision was not good, you will not regret it. Spend a few hours regretting on the wrong decision and be ready for a new life the next morning. Decisiveness in relation to work or anything else comes from within us. And we cannot wait to become a decisive person after the mysterious incident. When you cautiously practice to decide more decisively about any issues, over time this trait will become a part of your personality and unconsciously you will become a decisive person. Are you a decisive person? What do you know to be effective in achieving determination? Share your experience with us in the comment section. If you like this video, please give it a thumb up and subscribe to the Scene Psycho channel for more. Thank you for your support. Until the next time, bye.